Last night on ESPN, they released the newest 30 for 30 called Fantastic Lies, the story of the Duke lacrosse scandal. 30 for 30s in general get millions of views. It's a big stage for our sport to be on a 30 for 30. But I think the question is that a lot of people are asking is, is the Duke lacrosse scandal a good thing for people to be talking about right now? Do we want to bring this back up and have society see lacrosse in this light? Regardless of whether these guys were guilty or not, which they ended up being not guilty, it still exposed a lot about the culture of that team. And that culture is something that was in their control. And it goes back to what was asked last week, which was, what do you think about the culture of lacrosse? And the way we see it, you have to take responsibility for the culture of your team. You wanna make sure that who you are and who your team is is something that you can be proud of because you're representing the sport. It's not that often that we get such a high quality piece on lacrosse, like a 30 for 30. So make sure to take advantage, check it out. You can watch it on ESPN3.com and I'm sure it's gonna be airing on ESPN all week. And in College Lax this weekend, it was all about OT. Denver over Notre Dame in OT. If you didn't see the game, just watch the fourth quarter. It was crazy. Chapman beat the Buffs in OT. Oh. Go Chap. No. Look how the Buffs lost this weekend off the restart. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. And finally, in OT. Someone's playing the flute. Someone is playing the flute. Cool. And then Penn State over Harvard, also in OT. And UNC lost to UMass. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. That's kinda By crazy. a good amount. Like, come on. March Madness. Congratulations to Joe Williams for being the first ever Interlock champion. If you head over to his channel right now, you can take a look at all four of his heads that he strung up. They're basically like art. They are incredible. And this trophy is coming to Brooklyn, New York. I got a challenge for you. What's up? I play goalie. You get 10 shots. I'm gonna say that I can save seven out of 10 of them. I think you'll save two. Okay. I'm probably gonna score 100% of the time. Okay, that's fine. This is insane. No, I just, I mean, I used to play goalie in the backyard with my friends and I just think that I could stop all this your shots. This is crazy. Seven out of seven 10. Out of 10. You say two out of 10. Yeah. Whoever just gets closer to the number wins. Done. Dead man walking right now. <laughs> and for our high school recruit spotlight this week, we have Griffin Jason, a 2017 goalie from Chaminade Prep, going off to Harvard. Great stops on the doorstep. Harvard could have used him this weekend. Coming soon to Samir's Instagram. Stop filming me. Shot. If you guys don't follow us on Instagram, you should. Mine is at the Kali Ali. It's a nickname my mom used to call me. And mine is Samir Chaudhry. It's just my name. It's his name. It's, it's just his name. Q&A in the car. Question one. Did you all wish Kyle Harrison a happy birthday? Probably not, so why don't we sing to him now? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> That's bad. Kyle's gonna hate that. Lobo Lax 3 says, all white setup or fancy setup? I'm guessing by fancy you mean like a dyed stick, colored strings. Uh, all white. Uh, yeah, I used to go all white or when I was traditional, just gray leathers, white strings. Sean Croker says, shout out to Solomon's Lax in Southern Maryland. Shout out! Solomon's Lax. <laughs> Lax Ginger says, who will be the underdogs of this college lacrosse season? Probably some of the Ivy League schools. Harvard, Brown, uh, Yale. Yep. Also, Lax Ginger, I want you to know that you are the winner of Free Stuff Friday this week. Hey, how about that? Yeah, just by chance. Heritage Lax 4, what do you guys usually eat on game day, before and after? I think maybe you eat like an avocado and some blackberries. What? I think baked potato. I always played a pretty good game. I don't know, I think we should ask Paul. Yeah, Paul, what are we supposed to eat a day of a game? We'll wait. We'll wait. Usually he calls it this time. Yeah. No call today. Trent says, what would you name the MLL Texas lacrosse team that may be coming? The Armadillos. The Rancheros. Texas Turtles. The Gauchos. Comment below, if Texas were to have an MLL team, what should they be called? From Jacob Vincentini, hey, I got a question for you guys. Would you rather get attacked by a hundred horse-sized chickens or one chicken-sized horse? One chicken-sized horse. One chicken-sized horse, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. Yeah, and it actually happened to me one time. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, sized horse? listen, I don't want to get into it. That's it for the Weekly Watch, something cool that's happening this week. Tomorrow, which is Tuesday, 
Colin and I will actually be doing commentary at my high school for a rivalry game between Harvard Westlake and Loyola in LA. Give him a little preview. Give him a preview. Of me doing yeah. the broadcast? Yeah. Oh boy. In three, two, one. Hello and welcome to Ted Slavin Field here at Harvard Westlake High School in Los Angeles, California. Today's rivalry matchup between the Loyola Cubs and the Harvard Westlake Wolverine is going to be an absolute barn burner. I'm Samir Chowdhury, and that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> That's it. Make sure to comment below. If Texas had an MLL team, what would we call them? Subscribe, follow us on Instagram personally, as well as TLN, and we will see you next week. Later.